explain to you that this is done because we are talking about historical perspectives of how um, gender relations and different types of sexual orientations have existed in history. So this is something something that's occurred in history, and so this is really important for us to include. American public libraries and in public schools, we're inviting transvestites to come to read to our kindergartners who actually have records, twice it happened in Houston, for having molested kids in the past. churches a day now in France uh, are being attacked. Um, we don't need these sort of attacks on our soil, but uh, if we continue importing these people, a certain percentage of which, uh, these Muslims, a certain percentage of which are terrorists, then we can expect exactly the same thing happening here. The attackers were radical Muslims. Their motives were religious. Their targets were Christians. None of that is speculation. It's true. And maybe because it is so true and so obviously true, nobody in authority wanted to say it out loud. So instead, they went to great lengths to avoid clear language. 
quote, the attacks on tourists and Easter worshipers in Sri Lanka are an attack on humanity, tweeted Barack Obama. Hillary Clinton used the same awkward phrase. I'm praying for everyone affected by today's horrific attack on Easter worshipers and travelers in Sri Lanka, she wrote. Easter worshipers. Why not just say Christians? Nobody worships Easter. There's a reason, of course. Euphemisms are never accidental. Our leaders believe Christians are the problem. They're the dangerous ones. They can't be trusted. Tell them the truth and they might go crazy and organize a new crusade, unsheath their swords and march on Jerusalem. You never know with Christians. I believe history will look back on four years of this president and all he embraces as an aberrant moment in time. But if we give Donald Trump eight years in the White House, he will forever and fundamentally alter the character of this nation. That's why today I'm announcing my candidacy for president of the United States. This is America.